Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to do some image detail enhancing using the Nikon software EFEX Pro. Uh, right now we are in the develop module of Adobe Lightroom. We're going to just do some quick adjustments before sending the image over into the Nikon software to get the detail out of the image. This image was sent in to us for someone who's trying to get the detail out of an image and can't do it with Lightroom. So you have to use a third party to get the image to look the way that it was. Um, first, we you should be shooting all of your photos in RAW, or we could not even do this on a JPEG image. The image was taken with a Nikon D3000 camera. Uh, it was shot at 1 200th of a second at F10 at ISO 200. So if we look at the image, you're going to see it is pretty clear. Uh, we will have a little bit of detail we need to smooth out in the image. And that's what we're going to use Lightroom for before we actually import it into the Nikon software. So on the right hand side under your adjustment panel, we're just going to do some real quick adjustments. Um, we'll take this back to where it was. Now this was the image that was sent to us. So first thing we need to do is go under the highlights here. We're going to take out some of these highlights. So I'm going to go minus 75 on the keypad. We'll darken up the skies a little bit and leave the insides a little bit uh, brighter. Blacks, we need to have this down uh, probably to say minus 50 on the, on the black. Clarity, we'll use this to say 20 using the tab key to go from slider to slider. I'm going to leave the highlights, the lights, the darks, the shadows alone. Color, uh, saturation, I'm going to leave alone. Uh, we'll use Nikon software to do this. Uh, split toning, we're going to leave the same. Sharpening, we're not going to have to do a lot with this image right now. So let's just bring this up to say 25. Luminance, we want 40 on the luminance, the noise reduction. Detail, let's use 100% of the detail. Contrast, let's say we want 20 on the contrast. Okay, from here you're done with Lightroom. What you need to do now is right click on the image, put edit in color EFX Pro version 4. Uh, we're going to use the Edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. And just click Edit. Now Lightroom will import the image into the Nikon software to do the final detail image to bring out the color of the sky, highlight the color of the trees. Kind of makes the, the image look as if it was almost painted. Okay, now that Color EFX Pro has opened the image, when you first open up the Color EFX Pro, the first thing you're going to do is have the last filter that you used show up on, on the right side of your, your photo. On this photo, you have three options. Um, the detail extractor is the first thing we used. So if I close this out, this is the image straight from Lightroom. So you can step through the, uh, the steps if you'd like to this way. So we're going to go on the left hand side over here. We're going to click on the detail extractor. And it gives us options here on this way that we want this image to stand out. So what I do is I'll click on Instead of, this just gives you the preview. We'll just click here on the detail extractor, which will now bring up the image with some filters already applied to it. 
on the left hand right hand side sorry you have the, you can use the fine adjustment a normal adjustment or a large adjustment on this image I'll use the normal adjustment and hit the add filter button and then go back to the left hand side again bring out the coloring of the sky and we're going to use the sunlight filter and on this one we're going to use a strong filter which will now bring out the color of the sun behind it so once we've done that we hit the add filter one more time hit the back button and now we want these trees the palm trees in the foreground to stand out so we're going to go up here to the foliage and let's pick a strong green on this one and on the right hand side you have three options to use this is the the second one this would be the the yellow green so we're going to click on that one here hit add filter so once you're done with the image now you can see that we've actually increased the color of the trees we've actually got the color back in the trees you can actually see the sun rays now as where before it almost didn't look as like you could see anything at all up under the top left hand side you have a single view or a split view so when you click on the split view you'll see the left side is what we started with the right side is now with what the filters enhanced on it you can go to the next one which is a side by side comparison or go back here and once you're done all you have to do is go in the right hand corner down here hit save this will import the image back into Lightroom so you can do some final adjustments because you're going to have a little bit of noise added to the image so we're going to use Lightroom to go back and kind of smooth those out to bring out even more of the detail of your image okay so now we're back into uh, Lightroom version 4 and here's the image now after we have applied a few filters so if we click into the image you can see now on the hills here we have a little bit of pixelation the noise that was added when we add these other filters so what we're going to do now is we're going to use Lightroom to remove those and how we're going to do that is down here into noise reduction again we're going to use the luminance filter and let's now crank this up to about 50 now your image is back to smooth again detail we want 100 percent of the detail which will give it the texture but we'll remove the the noise from the with the luminance and then contrast to say 25 and then when we click on the image again this is the image now that we're done you can see the sun rays coming through the clouds the trees in the foreground are brighter so it actually gives depth to your image so I hope this helps um, if you have any questions on this video just send us an email and we'll go through it step by step if we need to a little bit to help you out see if we can get you looking at some of your images a little bit better thank you very much